What's going on everybody? My name is Brent Pella. I'm one of the sports editors for the Daily Nexus and I'm joined today by three-time All Big West Conference league leading scorer, senior midfielder Luis Silva. So at the beginning of this year you guys beat Duke on the road, you beat West Virginia, you beat Akron, the defending national champions. What's the difference between playing teams like that and playing against teams in the Big West Conference? You know, I just, I think teams like that just prepare you more for the playoffs. As in the Big West, I mean, we, we don't have many teams that make it to the, to the NCAA tournament. I think this year we only had Irvine. And um, it's just more, I think uh, Big West is more challenging, more physical, more direct, um, long balls. And then Akron and West Virginia, those, those teams like Duke, they try to, you know, play with you, pass the ball and move around, you know, which makes it more difficult as well for us because we're a team that likes to keep the ball, keep possession and, you know, uh, knock the ball around. To start off the Big West Conference, you guys lost two straight games against Riverside and Irvine, went two and four through the first six. But then at the end of the season, you were able to pick it up, winning five straight, including the win against Cal Poly on senior night. What was the difference in the style of play between those two parts of the season? It was it was more I think it was more uh, of us trying to want the game more than the other teams did. Um, as a good team, you're always gonna you're always gonna get the best game out of everybody else. They always want to beat the best team, um, and you know Riverside um, surprised us at at their field. They beat us, and then we lost to Irvine here. And um, after that day, after that game, um, our senior Waid, who's not, who's injured. Um, he uh, decided to have a talk with the whole team and, you know, bring everybody together the next day as a Sunday and train as a team and just talk about if we wanted to keep going this way or, you know, we got to step it up. And ever since then, um, I believe that the team has changed. Uh, more un we're more united now. We, we even off the bench, people are supporting you more, you know, so it's I, I, I think I had to do a lot with um, when Waii decided to talk to everybody and everybody just decided to play for each other, help each other out more. How did your position as a leader change when you became a senior this year? Changed huge, you know. We, I think we only have about three to four seniors right now. And uh, I mean, starting off four years, um, I wanted to take leadership and, you know, just help the team as much as I could. Um, well, I'm a captain now with Tim Pontius, and I think we, I think we've done a pretty good job at uh, leading the team right now. You and Tim Pontius are the only two players on the roster that have played for head coach Tim Vom Stieg for all four years of college. How has your relationship with Vom Stieg grown over that time? Uh, it's grown a lot. I, I remember my freshman year uh, coming into the team, and you know, um, not being able to communicate with the coach, maybe because I, I wasn't outspoken or anything um, but uh, sophomore year was the same thing I was kind of like scared you know you're you know you're still a freshman sophomore and you're you're not sure if you can talk to the coach over the last two years um, and now as a captain it's changed a lot because um, he's really um, open to talk to players and you know you tell him what you think or go talk to him about a game and he he's there to to listen you know and that I think that's a big part of um, this program just because not many programs, um, you can't talk to your coach right away. You know, you gotta wait for something or you can't talk to the coach directly. You gotta talk to the assistant coach or stuff like that. So, I mean, it just, um, with me and him, it's, it's, it's been great this year, especially as a captain and going into his office whenever I want and discuss something, this is how we played and, you know, watch a video of a team or something, you know, so it's, it's been good. One thing that the school has that you can't find anywhere else is the tortilla tradition with the Gaucho Locos. What did you first think when you saw that happen? <laughs> I just started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was my uh, freshman year against Westmont when I think Chris Pania scored. Uh, and I mean, I just saw tortillas flying from the Gaucho side. Uh, <laughs> I, I just know, I just thought it was really funny. Uh, something really cool, obviously, you know, not, not, I mean, no one does it. No other school does it, um, and it's, I don't know, it's, it's nice. It's really nice to have uh, something um, new, you know. As a freshman, you're coming in and you're like, what's this? But then you just get used to it and, you know, you enjoy it, so it's, it's fun. What's in the future for you as a soccer player? 
I don't know. <laughs> we'll let um, we'll let God decide that. I mean, obviously, uh, my dream has been since I was a kid to be, become a professional soccer player. But um, if that doesn't happen, well, I always have school. You know, I'm almost done with it. So, um, I mean, if I go pro, I wouldn't. I mean, it'll be the best thing. But um, if I don't, then I still have school, and I mean, I'll stick with that too.